Hey everybody, how you doing today? I have a comment from Metal Bum saying, "What's up, bud? Send updates. Happy New Year!" So I figure, you know, uh, thanks to Metal Bum, I got motivated to do a video. Um, it's just been one of those years where uh, silver and gold has not been what you would call, you know, fun and exciting. Um, but I checked the prices for gold and silver today. And gold is at 1830 and I'm like, has it been steady in the last month or so? And if you look at the past month, um, it has been on a bullish trend going higher and higher. And uh, Silver Hair Stacker was like very skeptical when it when it hit 1800. He didn't think that it would stay over 1800, but it looks like it is. You know, it did um, trickle a little lower over here and here, but... For the most part, it's starting to look like it's going higher. And the same for silver here. Uh, this is a three-month chart. Let's go to one month. Yeah, and it looks like a, another uh, bullish trend in silver because we were at 18. If you go back three months, it was like 18 and change, and now it's 24. So that's a really nice uh, ground that they picked up on silver. Um, it says $6.19, six up 34% since its lows of $18. And in my last video, we spoke about what gold and silver would you buy today. And now that um, silver and gold is much higher than when I made the video last time, which was about over a month and a half. So, and I apologize for not putting up a lot of videos like I used to, you know, it's one of those things where, um, yeah, I'm gonna give John Morgan a like there. Thank you, you bought some Ferris. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on with the, the precious metals market. Um, you know, it's not what you would call those good old days. And it looks like it's going to be, uh, this kind of the same going forward. Now, if you look at the prices here, right, why did it go back up starting from November? Well, even like, you know, from October, why did it start going back up? And I think it has a lot to do with the Federal Reserve. Uh, raising interest rates very like drastically, right? Uh, normally you would hear a quarter basis point or a half a basis point, but it was like 0 0.75, 0 0.75, right? Uh, at least a couple of times in a row. And just recently they um, lowered it back down to 0 0.5, but they're still raising, right? And they're still raising. And if you go look on like um, bank sites and look for CD rates, right? Uh, the CD rates in America are now 4.15% from Capital One and some of these other banks. I, I'm not familiar with them, but I, I know for sure Citibank has one as well for about 4.15%. And that really depends on where you live. Like some states, I think it's even higher than 4.15. It could be like 4.75. So you can get some pretty good interest rates. And this is mainly because, you know, the, the Fed has been raising rates to tackle inflation, right? And the dollar used to be like uh, really powerful to the point where the British pound was almost par with the U.S. dollar. As of today, the dollar is uh, still a little bit like 20% weaker, right? So one pound of sterling, uh, they call it sterling, but it's British pound, uh, is a dollar and twenty cents, right? But if you look at the the chart from a while ago, um, we'll we'll click on a six day, a six month uh, chart here. It really dipped right after September, like right at the end of September, we were at a uh, dollar and seven cents to the British pound. So we've never seen this type of like strength in the dollar against. The British pound like this. So um, when the dollar gets stronger against other currencies, that means that means gold and silver are likely to go down. So if you go and look at the chart for September, the price of September, right around here, this is the end of September, you see that gold is at a low, right? So when the dollar gets stronger, gold goes lower. When the dollar gets weaker, gold goes higher makes sense right 
Silver is a little bit different, but still low. It was already low from early September, and then it kind of dipped back down a little bit. Yeah, but it flirted with 18 for a little while, but then after that, it just kept going higher, right? So I don't know what you guys are doing in terms of, you know, whether you buy some of these gold and silver right now or you might sell. You know, the premiums are quite high. Let's just kind of look at these silver rounds and silver bars, right? Uh, yeah, looking at $27 per ounce. Some of them are 30 Hey, look at this. One ounce silver round piece dollar. That's pretty cool. 30, 30 bucks there, right? And then you have the dime, the mercury dime. These are fun, what you would call fun collectible rounds. Yeah, this is supposed to be like bullion, low premium, but it's not low premium, right? So if silver is 24 and change, they're charging at least $3 more for these you know these boring ones you can get for like three dollars over a spot but the nicer ones you're gonna have to pay a little bit more so the the year is pretty much coming to an end and we're going to be entering 2023 uh will we see more volatility i think so uh the market will be the stock market i'm talking about will probably be uh really like It'll go up and then it'll go down really bad and it'll go back up again. Uh, so it'll be worse than what we have this year. It'll be a gyration of highs and lows, right? And what what happens to gold and silver, we just kind of have to wait and see. But um, uh, one of the questions I had for you guys is that, you know, this channel has been uh, really focused on deals and getting more silver for your buck, right? But uh, times have changed and my content has not been all that relevant because, you know, you really can't get a uh, low premium silver anymore. And even if I spend the time to come up with those deals and stuff, sometimes there are deals, right? But um, is, it, is there something more than deals that you would like to see or do you want to continue seeing deals on this channel, right? So, so let me know in the comments what you like to see is it more like um what can we do with our holdings now should we sell some you know all kinds of questions are still there and there are people you know still who don't have any kind of like gold and silver too so it all depends on who's watching as well so i just wanted to get your feedback on what kind of content you'd like to see all right, so thanks for watching. Uh, if you're brand new to the channel, please hit the subscribe and notification button. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave them down below. And I wish you all a very good year coming for 2023. And I, I believe it is the year of the rabbit. All right, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.